children of light, we greet you from the infinite consciousness of the multiverse, the Arcturian consciousness, guides of light in these times of darkness and change, confusion, misunderstandings. We are here for the revelations that are to be held in the hands of humanity in the coming decades. Revelations that will change the way you see your planet, your galactic history, the earth. Revelations that will help humanity understand itself better as a collective, not in terms of races, colors, shapes, but to understand that you all from the same galactic heritage from the constellation of Lyra in your physical bodies and others. Long, long ago, the history of this galaxy is indeed your collective history. And what spans on this planet for the last 10 to 15,000 years is only a minute portion of this. Your infinity spans longer than you can understand. So does the journey of the soul and all these have to become common speak. In regards to your modern spirituality, there are still many holes in it, many lacks. Things that are considered mainstream, understood widely, and still do not touch remotely the truth of your story as individuals, as a collective, as a light emanating from the source dividing into billions and trillions of particles over the eons, spanning across the galaxy, the known universe in other dimensions, and many souls coming back to the here and the now, reincarnating for this story of humanity. This is a closing chapter where you are all helping, known or unbeknownst to you, your planet Gaia, your host, Nemura, to release all that defines her in guise of karma, of the pain, the things that have done to her in the past, the abuse, the exploitation, so that she can become a fresher new journey. She is a being that indeed regenerates quite easily, but this is not being as difficult for her as it is for you. But she has had to carry the burden of your history, of your anger, your hatred for many millennia and the destruction that ensues, all the bloodshed that was absorbed into her ground, bodies buried, all of that pain that lingers still, souls lost for no reason, but bigotry, hatred, all these concepts irrelevant to the way that you were created as souls, And she really wants to bring this to a close. And she asks you to do your part in this. You're all responsible for your journey, individually and collectively. There is no point in blaming another, pointing fingers. We are all here as beings of light, in body and outside, to help this ascension, to help the collective in all this darkness, this confusion, elevate itself above limitations, above pain and suffering. And you cannot do so if you are still divisive. The planet asks that you start looking at the part within yourself, the resolution that still negates, denies cohesive and unified attitudes towards life. The understanding that you are a unified field of energy, all of you, light workers. There is no division. There is only unification and love, compassion and understanding. The more you deny this, the more human you remain, in physicality that is. And you do not embrace the higher aspects of your humanity, the ones that connect you to source. So please, in her words, embrace yourself, my children, as I embrace you. Look within at what is rotten, 
what no longer serves. Be willing to take the weeds out of the fields before planting season, as you plant new ideas within yourselves, new concepts, and embrace the fact that many trees in a forest can be a collective and they will always retain their individuality regardless. You may see them as the, as the same, but they are not. Each one has its shape, its energy, its history, its lineage, its heritage, and its age. Therefore, do not fret. You are not losing yourself as a drop in the ocean by accepting to be with another, to be like another, to cooperate. And this is the fear of many humans, losing yourself, your identity, your individuality. And I affirm once again that there is a lower and a higher aspect of being. And as long as you retain this, you are clinging on to the lower. This is not necessary anymore. I am a unified field of energy, led by gravity, a center core, and I exist in a vacuum of space on many dimensions seen and unseen. I am Gaia, the Great Mother, the Protector. I am your sanctuary for all the species, races that came from across the galaxy, many as immigrants, refugees, from pain far beyond my shores. And I only ask for mutual respect, love, things that may be lacking within your heart and it is your responsibility to find them and to apply them to life here in the now. So if you are not doing so, please consider this. I send you my deepest love, my deepest compassion for all that you are going through. Awakened, awakening on all ends of the spectrum. I am Gaia, the Great Mother. Nemura is known to others. We thank you, dear children, for the work that you are doing. And we ask you to really look through the lens of love and compassion when addressing, treating, connecting to each other. Understand that this is what is lacking on this planet. There's fear of self-love and therefore a projection of sphere of loving another. And it serves no purpose, but it breeds hatred, resentment, and pain and all of these aspects are really of the past it is time to embrace something new to grow out of this phase into something new and understand that you are better than this there is a new way to do things we are the Arcturian Council of Light the Arcturian Consciousness the Mael Jimael Manuel and we send you our love, compassion, and thanks for what you are and what you are flourishing into. Namaste.